You want to find out how you can use breakout rooms in Google Meet? I'm Chanel Greco from Saparis, and in this video, I'll show you how you can use and manage breakout rooms in Google Meet. We're in a Google Meet call with Jane, who's the person who created this Google Meet call. So she's the owner of this call, and she's the person who can create breakout rooms. Then we also have Adam and Chanel. Now, how will we proceed to create breakout rooms? Click on the activities icon and then on breakout rooms. There you go. Here we see our main call with our three participants and we can easily just click on set up breakout room and automatically now we see that the other two participants were um, put in a separate breakout room. By the way, you can go ahead and give them a new name. Let's say room one and call this room two. There you go. We see how many participants are in the call, <clears throat> excuse me, in the breakout room at the minute, at the moment. And um, we can, let's say, add further people to the room. If I wanted to add Jane, I can just simply click in here. Very well, I'm going to throw her out of that room. I can also drag a person into the room. That is also a possibility. And our third possibility is to shuffle up here. Now, at the moment, this, yeah, I mean, you did see that Chanel and, and Adam were now switched. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense at the moment, but imagine you have about 20 people in your main call. You click on shuffle, and they just get um, randomly put in one of those rooms. Um, by the way, if you wanted more rooms, then up here, exactly, you can... Um, Aument the rooms, uh, we can have three, it doesn't make much sense here in this situation, but you can have up to 100 rooms in a separate Google Meet call. So I think, yeah, that's a, quite a number of, of rooms. Um, yeah, so why don't we go ahead and say, um, let's put a timer on the room. This is optional. We can say that after, let's say, one minute, um, it's not accepting me. Uh, my keyboard entry, so let's do it like so. Let's say after, uh, let's do two minutes. Um, I want a banner to appear for the participants in the, in the specific rooms and, and advise them that they will be sent back to the main call. Good, so I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and open the rooms. There you go. So now the people are in the room. So if you see over here, you see that um, Adam is being asked if he wants to join room number two. We will do so. And here you see the banner I mentioned. So in room two, ending in two minutes. And we also see something very interesting, ask for help. Let me go ahead and click on that. And there you see, um, also by the way, over here, um, the display that Adam in room two asked for help. Um, as I said, if I wanted to see this, here you go, ask for help just now. So um, I could go ahead and join this call if I wanted to. Good, so countdown is on. The people will be sent back to the main call. Yes, return to the main call, go ahead and do so. There you go, so. Adam is back in our main call. Chanel, on the other hand, off screen has not accepted to do so yet. Why don't we go ahead and do that as well? Good, so that was the version with the timer. Now, what about if we send our people back to the rooms? Um, there you go. And I'm going to accept it on Adam's side over here. So exactly, he's now in room number two. Chanel hasn't joined, but let's go ahead and do so. So she's now in room number one. So we have no timer set, but at a certain point in time, we do want the people back in our main call. So we can go ahead and click on close rooms, close all rooms, and this now sets off a timer of 30 seconds, um, giving the participants in the separate rooms the possibility of wrapping up whatever discussion they have. And then once they're done with that, they can simply click on return to main call um, and this also proves the fact that you can't just, you know, shove the participants around without them wanting to, uh, wanting this to happen. So they still always have to accept joining a room and also accept coming back to the main call.
Let me know in the comment section below if you plan on using breakout rooms in your Google Meet calls in the future. And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Meet and the other apps that are part of Google Workspace, and I would not want you missing out on any of those videos.